World War Three did start in 2020. Mm. Mm. Perang dunia ketiga, perang dunia ketiga, dan perang dunia ketiga. Ya, di berbagai media rame banget soal perang dunia ketiga yang kemungkinan terjadi pada tahun 2020 ini. Eh, uh, dan di video kali ini gue mau ngebahas sebuah video dari tahun 2018 lalu tentang pengakuan seorang dari masa depan yang bilang kalau perang dunia sinobi keempat Mimi perang dunia ketiga maksud saya uh, akan terjadi pada tahun 2080 dan nanti coba kita cari fakta-faktanya apakah ini benar Ya, jadi pada tahun 2018 lalu ada sebuah video yang berisi pengakuan dari seseorang yang bernama Michael Phillips uh, Dia ini ngaku kalau datang dari tahun 2075 Wow Dan lahir pada tahun 2043 uh, Dia ini mengatakan bahwa di Honolulu, Hawaii Akan diserang menggunakan misil nuklir oleh Korea Utara pada Maret 2019 19, March 2019 That does involve North Korea. They attempt to launch a nuclear missile at Honolulu in Hawaii. And then um, the US responds with two cruise missile, uh, uh, nuclear laden missiles to Jong Nam and takes that out. So Kim Jong Kong was over at that point, and a lot of his government was taken out too. Namun setelah saya cari, hal tersebut gak terjadi. Di berita pun juga gak ada. Nah, sebenarnya berita soal konflik tersebut ada tapi itu di akhir 2017 dan sampai awal 2018. Dan di mana video pengakuan ini dibuat pada tahun 2018. Berarti bisa jadi kalau si pembuat video ini membaca beritanya terlebih dahulu, Kemudian membuat video palsu soal penjelajahan waktu ini dan memberitakan kalau 2019 akan terjadi konflik tersebut. Dan di berita itu ternyata juga bukan karena kesengajaan Korea menyerang Hawaii. Melainkan itu kesalahan teknis. Dan hal tersebut ternyata juga nggak terjadi. Alias huak. Jadi ini adalah huak di atas huak. Selain ngebahas tentang konflik Korea Utara dan Amerika, Uh, dia juga bercerita soal keberhasilan manusia mendarat di Mars Atau manusia pertama yang mendarat di Mars Ya jadi si Michael ini mengatakan bahwa pada akhir tahun 2020 Ada manusia yang pertama kali berhasil mendarat di Mars Wow Dan hal ini bukan dilakukan oleh NASA tetapi oleh SpaceX Berita ini juga sudah lama ada Dan isi dari berita tersebut adalah rencana penerbangan ke Mars oleh SpaceX Nah, dan dari sini bisa kita ambil kesimpulan bahwa info tersebut bisa saja dikutip uh, dari berita sebelum pembuatan video ini. Dan bisa disimpulkan bahwa video pengakuan ini adalah video palsu atau fake video. Uh, tapi buat yang mau lihat video selengkapnya, uh, silakan simak video berikut ini. My name is Michael Phillips, and I am a time traveller. I was born in 2043. At the age of 18, I joined the army, had a few years there, and then I was recruited into the, uh, the SES, the, the 21st SES regiment to be exact. We um, carried out a number of missions in countries that I'm not allowed to name because I've signed the Official Secrets Act. And From there, I was contacted by a different department that called themselves Section 18. They told me they were a reconnaissance unit. However, it turned out to be something quite different. So I was then transferred to um, MOD Bottom Down, and there they took me into a hangar. And in that hangar, I saw this eight foot sized spheroid object. I was then briefed on what this actually this object actually was. Turns out it was a time machine. This time machine it uses two uh, micro singularities 
one at the top and one at the bottom to power the craft into a, um, it creates a gravimetric, gravimetric distortion and distortion then tears a hole in time space. What you'd consider as a UFOs are actually time space um, craft. They have the ability to travel in space and also time. Many UFOs that you do see in the skies are in fact time travellers. My time at Boston Down, um, I embarked on a number of missions. Um, the first was to the year 2138, um, which was very interesting because it was not at all like I know the Earth to be now. In fact, it was rather polluted um, and, and people are quite tribal and uh, it wasn't a pleasant place to be. Anyway, a little bit more about um, my time, 2075. Um, all in all, it's not bad. There were a number of earth changes, which I do want to warn you about, which did change the earth. Um, global warming continued. Um, the major governments of the world did nothing to do to change that at all. So, this is kind of a plea to change your ways. Another time traveller from, I think it was 2038, he came back. His name was uh, Titor. Um, he came back to 2000, I do believe. And he thankfully stopped a civil war in America, which was supposed to kick off in 2008. Um, however, he got involved with the American intelligence authorities and the time travel program there. And it was decided that America needed a single unifying event to uh, bring the country together and to avert a civil war. And that event was 9-11. Um, Titor went back, I do believe it was May of 2001, just before the yeah. announcement happened. So that's what happened there, and he did change the timeline so the Civil War in 2008 didn't happen. Um, more towards um, where we are now, <clears throat> where I am, in 2018, which is odd because it's the first time I've travelled backwards in time, I've always travelled forwards. Um, there is a limited nuclear exchange in 2019, March of 2019. That does involve North Korea. They attempt to launch a nuclear missile at Honolulu in Hawaii. And then um, the US responds with two cruise missile, uh, uh, nuclear laden missiles to Pyongyang and takes that out. So King John Un was no more at that point and a lot of his government was taken out too. Uh, with the turmoil that ensued after that, World War Three did start in 2020. It was a limited war though, thankfully. It only lasted three years. Um, China and Russia um, were against the UK, America and a few other countries. And all in all, it was a, a very fast but brutal war. Countless millions were killed. Uh, nuclear weapons were used in a very limited capacity. Very limited, thankfully. Just battle, battleground nuclear weapons. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yes, 2022, uh, California, LA to be exact, is hit by what they term the big one. There was a very, very massive 10.2 uh, magnitude earthquake there, which completely decimated the city. Um, it actually cracked the fault line straight across California. Um, as a result, California sits a good 10 feet lower than it used to. Um, with rising sea levels, that did cause California and surrounding areas to be flooded and to no longer be habitable for people. People had to move out. Um, what else can I tell you? 
Donald Trump, uh, he clung to power for two terms, tried for three. However, he was impeached and he was finally got rid of. Uh, then you had uh, um, Oprah Winfrey, believe it or not, to try and run for um, the presidency. She was not successful. There was a man called Michael McIntosh, who actually um, succeeded. I'm not sure if uh, he's a name that's about at the moment, but that was in the mid to late um, 2020s. Um, oh, on the plus side, um, in the mid 2020s, we did land on Mars. We had the first land on Mars, which was good. Um, it wasn't by NASA at all, it was by SpaceX and Elon Musk. Uh, they sent a number of missions up there in the early 2020s to prepare for the amount of mission to Mars. Um, by 2032, there was a lunar and Martian base. And towards my, when I was born in 2043, we were beginning to make commercial efforts to reach out to the solar system, to mine um, the asteroids and the moons of Jupiter for resources. So there are quite a lot of trillionaires in my time who own their own space stations and they are very powerful people, you don't want to cross them. So a little bit more about the time travel project itself. As you can imagine in my time, when I was born in 2043, up until I joined the programme in 2075, um, there was a lot of money about, trillions upon trillions upon trillions, I, I couldn't even guess how much money in, in the world or the solar system. Um, so endeavours such as time travel were more and more possible. I have tra travelled numerous times in the future, and I'll tell you about one time now. Um, I stepped into the uh, craft, which is a, an eight foot wide sphere. It uses two dual positive singularities, one at the top, one at the bottom, like I've said before, and it creates a, um, a distortion in the time space via gra gravimetric forces. It, it is a, uh, how can I say, it, it, it utilises the singularities and forces the energy inwards for the time travel aspect. If you want to travel in space, you create a gravimetric wave outside of the sphere itself and then you can ride on that wave and get to a location in space very, very quickly. In terms of one of the times I went uh, forward um, in time, uh, let me just try and pick up an interesting one. Yes, um, I went to the 2432, and the world, thankfully, was a lot different again, but it was different in a positive aspect. The atmosphere and pollution, that was all cleaned up, thank God. It was very nice, actually, it was very green. There was lots of flowers everywhere. Um, everyone appeared to speak English. However, I'm not sure if that was them speaking English or they had some kind of implant where they could understand English or speak in their language and you understood their language or what. Um, buildings were exceptionally tall. They were just huge glass towers. There were numerous cars which were flying and Traveling in what I assume were highways in the sky. People were friendly, they were open, they weren't afraid to come up to you and say, Hi, who are you, where are you from? I think they were quite used to having time travelers because when I said I was from 2075, they didn't appear to be all that um, shocked. I certainly would have been shocked at the time if I were known time travelers about. Um, what can I say about time travel itself? Time travel itself. Well, back in, uh, I think it was 1947, the US government uh, captured a time space craft. And this craft, it took them a few years to figure out what it can, it couldn't 
and ca can actually do. They try to retrofit, uh, retrofit some uh, super mandates onto a ship one time, I do believe, and unfortunately that did not go well. It, do it did not travel in time. It travelled in space. It travelled approximately 30 or 40 kilometres down the coast. And when they did find this uh, ship, this US Navy frigate, all the crew members were fused into the ship and it wasn't a nice sight, so they hadn't quite perfected it back then. Um, officially, time travel was invented and perfected in 1975. Um, there were a number of operatives who went backwards in time mainly because they wished to try and change uh, various historical events such as World War II. However, they were not successful whatsoever. Um, in fact, a lot of their efforts were making the changes and making what happened a lot worse. So if you've got any questions about what I've seen in the future, I think that you'd be more interested in that. I'd be more than happy to uh, do another video and say, right, this is what's happened. Thank you. Mm -hmm.